Hey, dude, a package just arrived for you. Let's go. I think it's a car park. Really? Yeah, really. A car park? Come on, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? I uh, ordered something from the tuner. Hopefully you guys want to watch this video. Now I didn't break something on my car. This is I'm just adding. From the title, you guys probably already know what this is. Uh, it's an oil catch can. Maybe some of you don't know. I don't know if you guys read the titles or not. You might just click because, oh, it's new and I'm just going to click and not read anything and surprise! But yeah, I ordered a catch can from them and we're gonna be installing it today. Uh, let's get started. See what's inside the box. Comes with instructions. None of it's in English. Don't need that. I I did order the extra piece. This goes from to up to the brake booster. I'm gonna be changing a few things on my car. There's the, I forgot what the fitting's called, or the, the line, it goes into the, the RS4 accordion hose and all that. On my car, since it's a 2000, it originally did not come with that. It just comes with one line off the intake manifold to the brake booster. I upgraded, or I don't know if it's an upgrade, I changed out to the newer 2001 and a half intake manifold. So I changed that whole setup and, and added all the 2001 plumbing instead of the 2000 plumbing. But I'll probably end up going back to this, this single, mainly because eventually I'm going to be installing this. It's RS4 intake manifold. I'm still tracking down a few more parts for this. All right. Got some stickers, a bunch of them. I don't know how much horsepower that adds, but maybe a little. And empty box. All right. Let's lay everything out. Kind of cool. It's a uh, molded plastic. They said not to take this top off, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. There are no instructions online or anywhere on how to install it. They just, you get pictures. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this video is there was a few questions I was looking and, and while I was doing my research on it, people had questions or asking for an installation video. And I was like, I could probably do that. So I ordered it and I thought this was a neat uh, product from uh, the tuner and I'm gonna install it and make you a video. Or I could just go install and then show you how pretty it looks in there and that it works. But I, I think you guys are here because you wanted to, you want me to show you how to install it. Let's go. Okay, this piece, you know, we're gonna put it together on this. If you didn't know that, uh, uh, this connects to your intake manifold. 
let me show you. Here's, here's the back of your intake manifold. This is gonna go and bolt up right here. Hopefully you guys could see that. So this will mount like that. It'll, it gets installed just like this. All right, let's do the next thing. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these and then we'll be on to the next thing. All right, so I was doing some research. I'm like, this is not right. I, from pictures and stuff I'm seeing online, I'm like, something's off, so yeah. So if you get yours the way I got mine, just turn it. I, hopefully this stays sealed, we're gonna find out. But now, it's rotated in the correct orientation. Okay, you can't see my head, but you could see everything else. Here's the intake manifold, the firewall is back here. This is the short end where the, the valve cover will be here, the short side, and then here's the long side. This connects back underneath into the uh, the oil, the baffle. I'll show you guys. This connects to the N75. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna mock this up. Now these pieces are for the, where you have that big old valve on the Y pipe. You gotta reuse that, that valve. I would order the RS41 if you guys have a 2001 and a half and newer because the Y pipe looks exactly like the RS41 with the straight piece. If you have a 2000, 2000, early 2001, order the S4 version because it has the crooked Y pipe. Unless you've changed your Y pipe out to the newer version, that's how you do tell the difference is. The S4 would be for uh, 2000 to early 2001. And then you would order the RS4 one if you have a 2001 and a half and newer. And that's dependent on your Y pipe. Do, do, do. There's different sizes here. I'm trying to figure it out. That's too small. I, again, I'm just going to mock this up. This piece I will worry about later because we have to reuse the It's not a check valve because it actually does let it it does let air through or vacuum through, so it's a reduction valve, I would say. And you have to re you have to reuse it. And then this would be, you know, something like this. And then you'd have your valve and this would go on it. This is the way it's gonna look. I would start. I wouldn't necessarily crimp all these things down just yet. Let's go ahead and tear apart the car. We'll have to take the Y pipe off and probably some other things. Now I have a different fuel system. I was thinking about it last night. I might have a fuel line in the way and so we have to that that might change a few things, but You'll see some stuff on my car that won't be on your car. The fuel lines, it's a little different on mine. And just ignore that. It's still the same setup. Or it'll still be installed the same way. I just have some weird things on my car.
these caps on. You can see in the Y pipe how there's all this oil. Hopefully, this catch can will re resolve that. This is an RS4 setup, so it's a little different than if you guys have a stock S4. A stock S4, you'll have these little levers that you flip front and back, and then you just pull it out. Uh, on the RS4, there's screws or set screws, so it's a little different, but it's similar. And sometimes it can be a pain. Now remember under this you do have your sensor that tells it if it's low or not, so be careful. Those break really easy. And that's all I'm going to do, just push it out of the way. On the older S4s, it's just one piece that goes to the intake manifold. It goes a check valve from here down. This is a little more involved and quite often these things uh, come apart and break. The way I got this off, so this is in here, if you put a little screwdriver right here and kind of wiggle it around, it'll, it'll pry these things out enough that you could just pull this out. It takes a little practice, but it could be done because trying to squeeze these in such a tight area, good luck. See, my issue is I have a lot of fuel stuff in the way and that might pose a problem. This is the first time I've installed one of these, so you guys are getting all the fun like I am. I know this comes off. This is the N75 vent tube. Now I gotta take off the spider hose without breaking anything else around. Down here, there's two places it connects on the intake manifold, and then there's an oil baffle on top of the, the block or in, you know in between in the valley so you gotta get both of those off and with all my fueling setup that might be difficult I've never shown any guy any of you guys this here's the fuel setup I have the Y coming off it goes to each fuel rail and if the catch can sits right here this is in the way hopefully I have enough fittings I can make something come up and around or something like that and take this out of the way or I'll have to figure this one out. Now some of some of these yeah my fuel stuff's too much in the way. Uh, on some of your guys' car the spider web is so old it's just brittle it's gonna break apart. That's fine. Again you're only gonna reuse this reduction valve that's underneath this. That's all you're reusing on the spider hose. Now, through the tuner, you could order a new one of those. You could also order one from a, a different company. It, it's all the same part. It's, it's up to you. You could order it all at once or, or piecemeal it out. Let me remove these fuel lines. You guys may or may not want to watch that. We'll see. Ah, yes, that was nice. So I just put the screwdriver kind of on the top one and twisted it a little bit and it just pulled right out. Maybe the other one will do that. No, no dice. Better, more room. 
get that out of the way. I mean, you guys can remove things if it makes it easier for you. Just because I didn't remove it doesn't mean you don't have to. You know what I mean? If it's if it makes things easier to take things out or if it makes it easier just to pull the motor and do this, go right ahead. I ain't going to do that, but uh, maybe you want to. I don't know. But again, guys, if these have been on your, ah, uh, there we go. If these have been on your car for a long time, good luck getting them off that easily. And try not to break this combo valve either with all this. It's, uh, they're expensive. Okay, it's out. Let's go ahead and utilize it. Well, we could do this part later because it's on top. Let's go ahead and try to get the catch can in there. To install this kit, you're going to have to delete the F hose. There's, they don't have a, a, a workaround for it. All the, everything I've read on it and looked up is you would have to delete it. So if you have a 2000 or early 2001, uh, start looking around too to, to figure out a way to delete that F hose. You could do what I did and upgrade the intake manifold if you want it at the same time. And then I also like extended the lines for my EGT sensors so everything fits because there's, there's quite a few differences between 2000, early 2001 and the later 2001 and a half. Go ahead and crimp this one down. I don't know if I want to do a test fit and then try to fit everything in here, but I'm going to go ahead and, and crimp this one down first. And then these I could do later because they're on top. Hopefully that still gives me enough wiggle room I can move this a little bit. I mean, there's enough play that we should be okay. Simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and this off to give me some more room. I'm also going to remove the bolts, the two bolts on the intake manifold. They're, looks like six millimeter hex. I'm terrible, five millimeter. Probably help to have a magnet tool as well. Again, there's a lot of stuff in the way. It's going to be tight fit. You're going to connect that bottom piece to the the baffle in the valley. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, dumping a bunch of fuel here, and go ahead and bolt this down to the intake manifold, the two bolts that I just pulled out, these two. And they get torqued down to 10 newton meters. Let's go ahead and install this one. Looks pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get this one on. And again, I got my fuel lines in the way so that I gotta figure out later. Ah, there we go. Make sure we have 
this on here. We're going to be missing a line. So on the intake manifold, we're going to have to we're going to have to cap one of them. I wish they would uh the tuner would send a, a kit, you know, with the, the cover on it or with the clip and then a cap on it. That would that would add to this kit. You guys can see it's coming through here, over there, and then down here. Hard to see it comes and connects. But see we have two we have two of these right here. One of these we're gonna have to block off or put a cap on it. The other one goes to here. After further review, it's not football, but this setup is indeed more for a uh, RS4 because this is the RS4 intake manifold. And this piece would go doink right there. Now on the S4 intake manifold, I don't have any spares. There's two of these, one, two, and then a, 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 well, there's two of these. So, you need to, can't use this. I'm gonna have to reuse this piece, or on, on the earlier models, it kinda looks like this one, but it's not. And then I'm gonna have to cap the other line, or the other port. All right, I went ahead and Install my fuel lines. So all that's put back together. The fuel systems put that back together I had to make new longer lines to go around the catch can and make things fit a little bit better now on that intake manifold Where is it on this? This fitting right here that plugs into the manifold We're gonna have to cap it and lucky for me in my parts bin. I found a cap and that's the part number or you could just go get your own or I mean go find something that fits I'm just gonna go ahead and put this cap on and then I'll probably use a I'll probably use a one-time you know Oedeker not an Oedeker but the one-time use clamp if I have any that'll fit and squeeze it down and that'll be the end of that and I'm gonna be reinstalling this this is for an RS4 intake manifold when I do my RS4 intake manifold, I install that, I'll use this and I'll get rid of this setup. The other part we're gonna need is this. And to get this off, you need a, a heat gun. So get this nice and warm, come right off, take this, do they want us to take this off too? I think so. We'll be taking this off as well. Got it. When I take this one off, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just so I know which direction it's supposed to go. Oh. Off. All right, now I know which direction it's supposed to go. And like I said, it's a tight fit for everything all around. So I need to put the cap, move this out of the way, on this one over here. And this cap is too small. So whatever I showed you on that cap, this one doesn't fit. Now, the only option is, is I do have another fitting I could go, go in here and then I could cap it. I went ahead and th this was too small. I went ahead and took the other piece off. This actually goes into it off the spider hose and I'm just gonna go ahead and cap it, doink, and then put the clamp on here and then stick this on. That's my fix for right now. When I change the, to the RS4 intake manifold, I don't have to worry about this anymore. But this is my fix for it. It's a little loose, but I think with the clamp on it, it'll be fine. There you go. Ingenious, huh? Go ahead and try to stick it on here. Let me take this out of the way. Is it the far one or the close one? Doesn't matter. 
this one goes. It's, it's the one closest to you. So we'll go ahead and put this on. I have a feeling we're gonna take this off first. There we go. Get all this stuff. That's on. Very tight fit. Hopefully that works. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, clamp these two down. Oh man, this is gonna be very, very, very tight. supposed to come around to the N75, which we need this piece. Let's undo that first. Man, I hope the Y pipe fits. I guess we'll find out. All right, so this is on. Let's go ahead and uh, cinch this down. Cinch or clamp, sorry. My use of words. Uh, cover back on. I already went ahead and put the wiring on for the ignition or the spark plug. And go ahead and put this on or tuck it back in. Make sure the lines are all tucked away from where they could get a fry. Any clamps that you have, go ahead and get those put on. That's done. Go through a look at everything. Let's get the accordion hose and mat on. There's an O-ring in here. I like to add a little bit of lube to it. And one of the reasons you do that too is when you put the math back in, you don't want that O-ring to roll and come off. Nice and easy. Bottom one's always the fun one. Looks like this part connects to it. So on the hose I have here, it fits the accordion hose perfectly. 
So there's that's that's good to know. <laughs> it is a tight fit though, man. I have a feeling all this is gonna be pushed down. Because look at that. Oh yeah. Why pipe in? This is gonna be the fun part. It's like, ten millimeters too tall. I screwed the pooch on that one. All right, this comes off. Oh, I really screwed the pooch. <laughs> this goes on the bottom. Ah, I'm an idiot. This one goes on the bottom, right there. Who would have thought such a thing? Jeez. Perfect. Goes on the bottom one. Ah, stupid sometimes. Now this will fit. Just like they intended it. Well, bam. Is this in the way? Yes, it is. So, this is going to have to be cut shorter. I had to trim this a little bit to move it in so it didn't hit this. Uh, let's go ahead and clamp it down. The only thing I'm missing is the clamp for here. I'll have to order one and get it in. There you have it guys, that's, that's how to install the tuner catch can setup. Because if I have a little more stuff in the way, but uh, 
that's the way it goes. Let's get the rest of it on, make it look pretty. I'm gonna not put these two pieces on. As I took the fuel lines and everything off, I need to start the car and inspect it, make sure I don't have any leaks or any fuel leaks, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up first, and then go from there. thoughts on this this is the first time I've ever installed the tuner catch can or and so there was a few issues I ran into as you guys saw in the video do I recommend it I don't I don't know I haven't driven with it uh, but the, I do know they make good parts and there's probably other parts I'm going to be purchasing in the future from them I like that you can get them in two versions a black top or a red top I like the black top because I even though I have a yellow car, I kind of like to go with the, you know, you really have to start looking at it to actually see the stuff that's on the car. Uh, that's the way I prefer. It's kind of cool that way. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, keep wrenching.